Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good, good evening to Madam Noha Fizawati. Uh, my name is Umar Salmi Binti Ibrahim. My metric number is 03 DPR 20M1046. Today I will present Cultural Diversity in Malaysia. Cultural Diversity in Malaysia. Upon our independence, Malaysia was a multicultural nation with several major cultural groups. The Malays, which has become synonymous with Bumitra, the Indians, largely Hindu Tamils, the Chinese, who practice Buddhism and Taoism, and the indigenous around Asal even back then, were a, were, we were a very complex society in many aspects, legalistically and, contra, and culturally. Setelah mencapai kemerdekaan, Malaysia adalah sebuah negara berbilang kaum, dengan beberapa kumpulan budaya utama iaitu orang Melayu yang menjadi identiti bumi putera. Sebahagiannya adalah orang India yang terdiri daripada budaya Tamil, orang Cina yang mengamalkan agama Buddha dan Dozen dan orang asli. Walaupun ketika itu Malaysia terdiri daripada masyarakat yang sangat kompleks dalam banyak aspek dari segi bahasa dan budaya. Next is Life in Malaysian Society Despite the fact that Men dominate traditional Malaysian society. Modern Malaysia led rigorous gender segregation. With every passing decade, more and more women of the country are entering the workforce. While women have always worked in agriculture, modern Malaysian women work in a wide range of fields, from academia to healthcare, information technology, factories and business, to name a few. In many households, however, Cooking, cleaning, and child rearing are still considered to be solely the responsible responsibility of women. Walaupun lelaki mendominasi masyarakat tradisional Malaysia, Malaysia moden tidak mempunyai pemisahan jantina yang yang ketat. Dengan setiap dekad yang berlalu, semakin banyak wanita di negara ini memasuki tenaga kerja. Walaupun wanita selalu bekerja di bidang selalu bekerja di bidang pertanian. Wanita Malaysia moden bekerja di pelbagai bidang dari akademik hingga penjagaan kesihatan, teknologi maklumat, kilang dan perniagaan untuk beberapa bidang. Dalam bidang rumah tangga, memasak, membersihkan dan membesarkan anak masih dianggap sebagai tanggungjawab wanita semata-mata. Next is the country ethnic diversity has resulted in a wide range of Malaysian custom. Except for Muslim, there are no restrictions on marriage in any religious community. There is no such rich if there are no Muslim partner convert to Islam. Different ethnic groups in the country have their own wedding custom and ceremonies. Malay wedding, for example, are associated with big ban- banquets and eating rice cooked in oil, and Indian wedding are lavish festivities that last many days. People typically marry before they reach their thirty, although the average age of mar- marriage is rapidly increasing. Kepelbagaian etnik negara telah menghasilkan pelbagai adat perkahwinan. Kecuali bagi umat Islam, tidak ada larangan perkahwinan dalam komuniti agama manapun. Pelbagai etnik di negara ini mempunyai adat dan upacara perkahwinan mereka sendiri. Perkahwinan Melayu misalnya dikaitkan dengan jamuan makan besar contohnya hidangan nasi minyak dan perkahwinan India adalah perayaan mewah yang berlangsung selama beberapa hari. Orang biasa berkahwin di sebelum mencapai usia 30-an walaupun usia perkahwinan rata-rata meningkat dengan cepat. Next is sport in Malaysia. In Malaysia A variety of sport are popular, including bowling, football, badminton, squash, field hockey, and others. Wow or kite flying is a traditional Malaysian pastime. With the use of bamboo attachment, the kite used in this game may fly as high as 500 meters. Traditional sport include sepak takraw, kick volleyball, dragon dancing, and dragon boats racing. Malaysian enjoy a variety of water sport and activities, such as sailing, swimming, scuba diving, snorkeling, and so on. Thanks to the country vast because beaches and beaches and numerous is island. Di Malaysia, pelbagai sukan popular termasuk bowling, bola sepak, badminton, squash, hockey dan lain-lain. 
wow atau layang-layang adalah hobi tradisional hobi tradisional Malaysia dengan penggunaan lampiran buluh layang-layang yang digunakan dalam permainan ini boleh terbang setinggi 500 meter sukan tradisional termasuk sepak takraw bola tampar tarian naga dan perlumbaan perahu naga rakyat Malaysia menikmati pelbagai sukan dan aktiviti air seperti berlayar berenang, selam skuba dan sebagainya berkat pantai dan pulau-pulau yang luas di negara ini Next is Music and Dance in Malaysia Malaysian music has a variety of sources Percussion instruments are used in the country traditional music Drum are the most commonly used musical instrument in this kind of music There are at least 14 different types of drum used Rebub, gong, trumpet, flute and other traditional musical instruments are examples. Wedding, birth ritual, harvest festival and storytelling gathering all have music as a vital element of them. Music Malaysia mempunyai pelbagai sumber, instrumen digunakan dalam musik tradisional negara. Drum adalah alat muzik yang paling biasa digunakan dalam muzik, muzik jenis ini. Terdapat sekurang-kurangnya 14 jenis gendang yang digunakan uh, Seperti rebak, grok, agong, sangkakala, seruling dan alat muzik tradisional Lain adalah contoh alat muzik perkahwinan, ritual, kelahiran, festival dan penjumpaan bercerita Semuanya menggunakan muzik sebagai elemen penting dari mereka Next is literature, art and craft in Malaysia Oral transmission was was used to pass down the first work of Malaysia literature. Folk tales, folklore and myths are, were included as well as poetry, history, proverb, epic and love story. The four languages of Malay, English, Tamil and Chinese were used to write literature considerably later. The Arabic script was, was used for the first li li literary work in the country. Malaysian Art and craft have a long history. The country has a late have a lake a long history of weaving, carving, and silversmithing. Some common Malaysian artwork include hard woven basket, woven ba woven ba batik, songket, luxurious textiles, keris, wooden mugs, beetles, nutsack, and so on. Pera, for example, has established and even wear industry. Transmisi lisan digunakan untuk menurunkan karya pertama sastra Malaysia. Cerita rakyat dan mitos digunakan serta puisi sejarah, peribahasa, epik dan kisah cinta. Empat bahasa, Melayu, Inggeris, Tamil dan Cina digunakan untuk menulis sastra. Kemudian, tulisan Arab digunakan untuk karya sastra pertama di negara ini. Seni dan kraf Malaysia mempunyai sejarah yang panjang. Negara ini mempunyai sejarah panjang, uh, tenun, ukiran dan perak. Beberapa karya seni Malaysia yang biasa termasuk bakul, tenunan tangan, batik anyaman, songket, tekstil mewah, keris, topeng kayu, set kaca kumbang dan sebagainya. Perak misalnya telah melumpuhkan industri perkakas tanah. Malaysia has a rich linguistic landscape. There are 112 indigenous lang indigenous language and 22 foreign language spoken in the in the country malay is the country official language however english english is the most widely used second language other languages spoken include chinese tamil telugu punjabi thai and other Malaysia mempunyai landscape linguistik yang kaya termasuk 112 bahasa peribumi dan 22 bahasa asing yang dituturkan di negara ini. Bahasa Melayu adalah bahasa rasmi negara namun bahasa Inggeris adalah bahasa kedua yang paling banyak digunakan. Bahasa lain yang dituturkan termasuk bahasa Cina, Tamil, Telugu, Punjabi, Thai dan lain-lain. Next is Malaysian Cuisine. Malaysian cuisine is heavily influenced by the country multi-ethnic people. Malaysia food has been influenced by Indian, Thai, Sumatran, Malay, Chinese, Japanese and other cuisines. The country cuisine also varies by region. Malaysia's staple food is rice. 
Nearly 70% of rice consumed in the country is grown domestically, with the remainder import. In every Malaysian kitchen, chili peppers are a must-have ingredient. Belacan, a shrimp paste, is also widely used to flavor a variety of dishes. In Malaysian cuisines, coconut is also a key element. Masakan Malaysia banyak dipengaruhi oleh masyarakat berbilang etnik di negara ini. Makanan Malaysia telah dipengaruhi oleh masakan India, Thai, Sumatera, Melayu, Cina, Jepun dan lain-lain. Masakan negara juga berbeza mengikut wilayah. Makanan rujuk Malaysia adalah nasi. Hampir 70% beras yang dikonsumsi di negara ini ditanam di dalam negeri dan selebihnya diimport. Di setiap dapur Malaysia, lada cili adalah ramuan yang mesti dimiliki. Belacan, iaitu pasta udang juga banyak digunakan dalam pelbagai hidangan. Dalam masakan Malaysia, kelapa juga merupakan elemen utama. Almost every component of the coconut plants is used in the kitchen to give a salty flavor to steam food, stir fries and marinate. Many types of soy sauce are used in Malaysian cuisine. The herb lemongrass is used in a variety of recipes. There are also tofu dishes available. Meats such as beef, chicken and mutton are consumed throughout the country and they are all prepared according to halal guidelines. Malaysian Muslims obtain from eating pork. However, a sizable portion of Malaysia Chinese population does. Malaysian cuisine include a lot of fish, uh, shrimp, prawn, squid, octopus, sea cucumber, snail and other seafood are consumed in addition to fish. In addition, the market offer a large range of fruit and vegetable. Hampir setiap komponen tanaman kelapa digunakan di dapur untuk memberikan rasa masin pada makanan kukus, tumis dan perak. Banyak jenis kicap digunakan dalam masakan Malaysia. Serai ramuan digunakan dalam pelbagai resepi. Terdapat juga hidangan tahu. Daging seperti daging lembu, ayam dan daging kambing dimakan di seluruh negara dan sebanyak disus- dan semuanya disusun mengikut panduan halal. Umat Islam Malaysia menjauhkan diri daripada makan uh, daging kinzel namun sebahagian besar penduduk China Malaysia memakannya. Masakan Malaysia merangkumi banyak ikan, udang, sotong, siput dan makanan laut lain dimakan selain ikan. Di samping itu, Pasar menawarkan pelbagai jenis buah-buahan dan sayur-sayuran. Next is ethnicity, language and religion in Malaysia. Malaysia religious variety result in the country year-round observance of numerous festival. Secular festival like as Hari Merdeka, Independent Day, Labor Day and Malaysia Day are also celebrated with zeal. Hari Raya Puasa, Maulidu Rasul and the Islamic New Year. All or Awal Muharram are all popular Muslim holiday. Other famous Malaysian celebration include Chinese New Year, the Hindu holiday of Diwali, Baikuzam and Wesa. Kepelbagaian agama Islam, agama Malaysia menghasilkan perayaan sepanjang tahun di negara ini. Perayaan sekuler seperti Hari Merdeka iaitu Hari Kemerdekaan, Hari Pekerja dan Hari Malaysia juga disambut dengan penuh semangat. Hari Raya Puasa, Maulidul Rasul dan Tahun Baru Islam atau Awal Muharram adalah se- ada semua Hari Raya Islam yang popular. Perayaan lain yang terkenal di Malaysia termasuk Tahun Baru Tahun Baru Cina, Diva Bali, Taikuzam dan Wesak. Uh, as a conclusion, finally, cultural value is comprised of society member in inherited ideas, attitude and belief. Culture, on the other hand, refers to the fundamental belief and value that are passed down from the generation to generation. Every society has a distinct culture and cultural value. Consumer purchase pattern and attitude toward the market are influenced by each culture and cultural value. Cultural value influence Malaysia customer, cons- consumer whether they are from the same ethnic group or from other ethnic group. Due to the fact that this is Malaysian distinguishing
future in the in comparison to other countries despite the fact that malaysia is home to a diverse range of civilization ethnic group may consist in peace and tolerance akhirnya Uh, nilai budaya terdiri daripada idea, sikap dan kepercayaan ahli warisan masyarakat Kebudayaan sebaliknya merujuk kepada kepercayaan dan nilai asas yang diturunkan dari generasi ke generasi Setiap masyarakat mempunyai nilai budaya yang berbeza Cukai dan corak dan sikap pembelian pengguna terhadap pasar dipengaruhi oleh setiap nilai budaya Nilai budaya mempengaruhi pengguna Malaysia sama ada dari etnik yang sama atau dari etnik yang lain. Kerana kenyataan bahawa ini adalah ciri khas Malaysia berbanding dengan negara-negara lain, walaupun Malaysia mempunyai pelbagai peradaban, kumpulan etnik boleh hidup dalam keamanan dan toleransi. That's all from me. Thank you.